Hello YouTube, this is Grosama, and here we have today from the Figure Eye Standard line is a Naruto model kit, which, yeah, it's a little odd. Um, maybe not too odd because they have been doing the Dragon Ball Z uh, Figure Eye Standard line, and I think that they just seen the success of that line, and they're like, hey, let's branch off to some of the other Shonen Jump stuff, so I do see Naruto as, uh, you know, a pretty good gateway into getting into some other anime model kits. Um, they have done a uh, One Piece one. I remember uh, they did a Luffy model kit. I believe it was, a, it was just a Master Grade. Uh, it wasn't a part of the, the Figure Eye Standard line at the time. Uh, but I really would love to see more. I mean, they have, like, My Hero Academia. I would love to see uh, some model kits from them, uh, of them, and maybe even some One Piece figurines uh, or, you know, model kits, I mean. So... I think this is je definitely a good gateway into what we're going to be getting very soon is just more model kits of these um, these characters because I have the SH figure arts of uh, Naruto Uzumaki, I have two of them, and they're quite expensive. I think I paid around like $40, $45 for uh, just one of them, and that's just a very hefty price tag. And I have the Sasuke SH figure arts uh, as well. Um, Honestly, like they are just very pricey, but very great detailed uh, figurines come with good accessories. However, seeing this line, I am all for this because it kind of gives you a, a better option to go ahead and customize it uh, via like paint or if you want to do some other, you know, craziness. Uh, it's just kind of a little bit easier assess accessibility with the price tag. And they're probably going to be able to put it out there a little bit more than what they can the SH figure. Because I haven't seen any Sasuke's or Naruto for years uh, just being you know in the stores so this is actually really awesome very happy about this um, but you know I'm I'm a huge Naruto fan and uh, I've cosplayed Naruto multiple times at conventions I cosplayed Sasuke multiple times at conventions and um, yeah I'm just really super excited about this so let's go ahead and start looking at the box so the box itself I think looks really good, uh, definitely has a great action pose, this is something to keep in mind, um, maybe not in this exact pose, but I think something like this I'm going to go ahead and utilize uh, for whenever I, I you know, do my final posing on it. And uh, just looking over here definitely shows that it has the magnetic action. So you can actually plug these into the feet and then put them on any kind of, uh, you know, metal surfaces and it kind of just shows like it's basically chakra that is uh, being, you know, shown right there. So I think it's pretty cool and uh, definitely a great addition to this model kit because it probably wouldn't have worked with many other model kits like with the DBZ stuff, uh, but this definitely makes sense. And this was released in 2018 by Bandai Spirits. And it also retails at 3,000 yen. Now looking at the side of the box, uh, you just see some nice little like front and rear shots. Uh, so just kind of sh uh, showing, I never go back on my word, that's my ninja way. Uh, never really heard him say that before, but hey, you know, I, I watch a lot of the, uh, the Japanese dub, so that might be some kind of weird translation or something. Uh, and over here you just see like the Shadow Clone Jitsu, pretty awesome, I mean, the fact that it comes with the hands and that this is like just a really awesome way that you can justify your reasoning to purchase more Naruto uh, model kits because you really want to get those like shadow clones kind of out there but the, at that point it's really going to be costly uh, especially if you're buying it at the full price of 3,000 yen. Now over here they're just kind of showcasing the chakra effects with uh, the magnets so I think that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, I'm thinking about maybe my uh, refrigerator. I would definitely like to have a nice little action uh, going on on the refrigerator, but I really would love a Sasuke uh, with the same, you know, little um, accessories because I would have a full battle going on on my uh, refrigerator. Uh, I, I just think that would be pretty cool. And then down here you see two different facial expressions. One's kind of like a more serious one. The other one's a little smirk, kind of like, oh, I got the upper hand. And you see the two different Rasengans, uh, basically one is just a normal, and the other one is the, going to be the wind style shuriken. Uh, so I think it's really awesome. The shuriken is definitely the, the one I'm really interested in because the SA, uh, SH Figure Arts only has the normal one, which is not bad, but uh, I do love the wind style. And you're going to see all the different hands, so you're basically going to have like the attachments, kind of an open hand attachment for the Rasengan. Uh, you're going to have like the little jitsu fingers and closed fists, and it's also going to come with a nice little stand, so that is awesome because I I just I'm I've been getting a lot of these kits just kits in general that has come with stands and now I actually have a backlog of stands so in any case I ever need a kit to uh, just be on a stand I can go ahead and pull from the uh, the big old pile I have 
And looking over here, you definitely see some little information about uh, Uzumaki, uh, basically where he came from and kind of like his origin. And then over here, you do see the uh, figureized effect parts, which are amazing. I do have uh, some of the rock ones. Uh, I, I have some of the wind ones as well. I don't think it's these uh, precisely, but... Uh, if I go to Hiroshima, I think I might go to Hiroshima tomorrow. I'll go ahead and uh, pick some of these up. But yeah, that definitely looks pretty awesome. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the runners. Uh, the first runner is going to be Runner A, which is going to have a lot of these like clear blue effects for uh, basically the Rasengan. And the little shuriken over here, you're going to have some white parts. This is going to be mainly for the eyes and the mouth. Uh, you, all, you have all the flesh colored parts, which would be for the face. Uh, which, yeah, it kind of looks a little creepy, but it doesn't look too, too bad. Uh, so the white part's going to be right there. White part's going to be for the eyes. Um, then you're going to have some of these yellow parts, which is primarily looks, looks like going to be for the eyebrows. Going to have some for the hair. Hair, hair, hair. Okay, pretty much all hair. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for runner A. Then you're going to have runner B1 and B2. B2 just being a smaller version of B1. Uh, so taking a look at the, the basic B1 runner, uh, you're going to have like the little scarf right here. You're going to have some parts. I think this is going to be for the collar. Uh, this is going to be for the... Um, Wow, I can't really think straight. <laughs> uh, the the headband. You're gonna have the uh, the leaf uh, headband right there, and just all this black is gonna be for like for the coat. You're gonna have uh, parts for the shoes, uh, parts for the pants and joints and all that. So looks really good overall. And runner C is gonna have a lot of the orange. Uh, you're gonna have orange for like the backpack, not uh, backpack. Wow. Uh, you're gonna have orange for the jacket. You're gonna have orange for the pants. Uh, you know, pretty much more of the pants. Uh, looks like the sleeves. And that's pretty much about it. Uh, looks like there's going to be a couple of joints. And yeah, I think it looks really cool. Um, overall, not a lot of surface detail. Um, so I mean, you're obviously not going to be panel lining a lot of this, but you would probably want to go ahead and maybe put some uh, battle damage on this. I'm going to consider it once I, I put it all together, exactly what I'm going to do. So it's like some of this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and panel line uh, just some of these little grooves. Uh, but you're gonna have to paint some of this if you're if you're pretty much not gonna want to use the stickers. And this kit does come with some poly caps. And here is the clear runner. So a very very simple runner. Uh, you, this is like essentially the ones that come with the effect part. So it has like all these little uh, extra things that you can go ahead and attach to the basic stand. So you can go ahead and have like the little blast effects and everything. So I think it's really cool. Uh, I really want to go ahead and pick up some of the rocks and pick up some of the like the little wind effects just to add you know the overall effects to this kit. Okay, and here are the little chakra effects. Um, so yeah, basically our little magnets, you can go ahead and clip them onto any kind of uh, metal surfaces. Looks pretty good. So little pegs right here clipping to the bottom of the feet and you can go ahead and pose them wherever you want. And here is your sticker sheet. So you're gonna have some flesh color stickers right here, which I'm not, I'm actually not too sure where this is gonna go. Uh, I was kind of looking on the on the uh, cover art and I just can't really like pinpoint where this is gonna go unless it's for like maybe the neck. Um, and then over here, you're gonna have some like white, which I think this is for the bandage on the leg. Uh, you're gonna have some solid black right here, and you're gonna have uh, kind of like that little weird Uzumaki symbol that's gonna be on the side arm. Uh, the red one on the back. You're gonna have the silver for the um, his headband, and then all the eyes right there. So uh, not really too many stickers, but if I mean a lot of this is easily paintable. Like, you can paint this white. You can paint the black. Uh, can't really, I mean, you could paint that, but that's a lot of multicolors right inside there. And you can definitely paint that red with panel lining on the black, paint that silver with panel lining on the black. Uh, and the eyes, you, they will have grooves, so that way you can go ahead and paint those as well. And lastly, just taking a look at the manual, cover art is going to be on the front. And then when you open it up, you're going to have some color right inside there. So it's very very simple this is a lot like the uh the dragon ball z line uh, i've only built one kit from the dragon ball z stuff uh it's not really too bad very very simplistic overall so very very excited to go ahead and see it and you see the little stand uh like how you're going to attach it to the kit and that's pretty much about it so you get the head body uh you get some nice little poses that you can go ahead and pull off even though this is on the side of the box anyways and you get a color guide so yeah looks pretty good overall so with that, guys, uh, definitely stay tuned. I should be able to finish this uh, in a matter of a couple of hours. Um, but that's it. So I'll be seeing y'all in the next review. Bye-bye.